I've done wrong as far as oh, videotaping yeah. Yeah. it. Yeah, what is she videotaping? Like, okay, if I go into the bathroom, the act. she will put her little cell phone under the door and try to see what I'm doing. You're videotaping your boyfriend in the bathroom to see if you can catch him self-pleasuring. Is that accurate? She's the judge who gives rules on the law and life. She's intense with common sense. She's Judge Lynn Toller on Divorce Court, where real couples deal with real life. Latrice and Julian have been together for four years, and though Latrice loves her fiance and the father of her two children, she says she questions Julian's waning interest in sex and his fixation with pornography. One time I was sitting on the toilet, just in my phone, checking Facebook. I look down, I see a little thing, little camera just and looking up stopped. at me like, he I didn't stop, I he looked at the and camera. Back like he wasn't doing anything. I'm not comfortable with it, but don't keep it from me, don't hide it from me. You know, if I ask you, don't lie about it. Julian says he's had enough of Latrice's spying and treating him like a prisoner in his own home. And if she won't stop, he is through before they even make it to the altar. Today, on Divorce Court Before Your Vows. All rise. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Lynn Toller presiding. You may be seated. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here today with Latrice Manns and Julian Payne. Ms. Manns and Mr. Payne, you two are engaged, but you are not sure whether or not you should walk down the aisle. So you have come to me for my opinion. You have given me your marriage license and given me permission to tear it up if I believe that your marriage is ill-advised. You are from Milwaukee, and Ms. Manns, you have four children, two with Mr. Payne, mm -hmm. correct? And two from a previous relationship. And Mr. Payne, you have three children, Two, of course, with Ms. Manns and one from a previous relationship. Yes. So um, I've given you a compatibility test. I've looked over it, and I do have some opinions about that. But before we get to that, Mr. Payne, I'm going to start with you. Why don't you tell me why you love her, but, but why you're not sure? OK. I love Latrice to death. This girl is honest. She's caring. She bends over backwards for you. Right. But my whole thing is, with the issues that we have, I don't know if we can honestly make it through that. Like, we have sex issue, we have trust issue with the sex issue. After she had the babies, yeah. she gained a little bit of weight. Mm -hmm. I was fine with that. I ain't got no problem with it. I love right. my woman thick. Right. You know what I'm saying? But she just didn't really want to be intimate. So instead of me going out and cheating on her, I go and take care of it myself. I watch a uh, porn. Yeah, okay, 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 okay. I'm with you. I got but, I mean, you. Seriously, we're we're I... there together. Now, now, Ms. Manns, let me ask you this. Do you have body issues because you, you know, you gain weight? Yeah, we all do. Gain weight when you get pregnant. Do you, do you feel less alluring? Yeah, I feel like I'm less attractive than I was, you know? Do you? And does that affect how much you desire intimacy with Mr. Payne over there? No, it's what affects my, our sexual life is what he just said, the porn. I'm not comfortable with it. I, I don't mind watching it with him, but don't keep it from me, don't hide it from me. You know, if I ask you, don't lie about it. I've done wrong as far as oh, videotaping yeah. Yeah. it. Um, she tries but to no, wait, hang on. Well, well, what, 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 what is she videotaping? Like, okay, if I go into the bathroom, the act. she will put her little cell phone under the door and try to see what I'm doing. She's recorded it like two or three times, and on those occasions, five. I didn't. Five, five times. times. And on those occasions, I didn't do anything. But I can't go in the bathroom anymore Video without having lie. to look and see if there a camera down there. Video doesn't lie. Audio doesn't lie. You're videotaping your boyfriend in the bathroom to see if you can catch him self-pleasuring. Is that accurate? Yes, because he won't admit it. Three of the times that I know that I've seen the tape, I was putting on my sock, leaning up against the wall. One time, I was sitting on the toilet, just in my phone, checking Facebook. She didn't ask me what I was doing on it. She just, the camera's right there. I look down, I see a little thing, little camera just and looking up stopped. at me like, he I didn't stop. I he looked at the and camera. Back like he wasn't doing anything. Because I looked at the camera and I did not do it. I can guarantee you, I could put my hand on the Bible right now and I did not do it. 
I mean, that's not this a problem for me I, anymore. It's well, not, well, that's let's, not let's an issue. Get, let's, let's get off this subject for a minute. Okay. It's, so, you know. Yeah. But we're going to talk about it again, Ms. Manns, because okay. something wrong with the way you're thinking over there. We're going to have to walk down. No, he's we're going to no, we're gonna gonna have to walk way. down Logic Lane together, hand in hand, and see if we could show up someplace that looks like reasonable. Because right now, we're not there. Mm -hmm. But we'll go past that. Other than that, you say he doesn't communicate. Explain to me the nature of your communication issues. Okay, if we have an issue and I want to talk about it, it's never a good time to talk. He doesn't want to talk about it. He gets a he has an anger problem. He gets uh -huh. mad. He doesn't want to talk about it. I will be the first to admit I do have an anger problem. Do you I really? have a very high temper. I'm a do very Do you get angry quickly or you just get disproportionately angry when you do get angry? I get angry kind of quick. quick. I jump on the defensive quick. Okay. And when I'm trying to be defensive and prove my point, I might get to shouting, I might get to yelling. Uh -huh. But she wants to talk when I'm at work. I'm walking out the door to go to my football game. Or it's like 11.30, I done worked at my job for 10 hours, and, and so I'm finna get ready to go to I sleep. I went to school, took care of all four of the kids, five. But school and Well, nothing. let me ask you this, Mr. Payne. And I'm, do I'm you, still willing to do talk. Do you two have a time and place where you can talk? Does she have the opportunity to speak, or is your life so full that she's got to catch you whenever because there's never really a good time? No, she that can happens talk to, me. to people. She can talk to me though. I mean, it's Please times be during honest. the day. I am being honest. You can't talk to me. If it's a subject he doesn't want to talk about, he'll totally blow me off, and then I'm left Give with. Give me no. an example. He just basically lies to me. So about what? Okay, he was talking to an ex. Uh -huh. He did not oh, yeah, tell me she was coming up to his job, calling him at his job. I didn't want to tell her because I knew she was going to flip off the handle. I thought I might get put out the house or something because right. the girl called up there. But then and you left me for her. So yes, you shouldn't have cared about I left, put out. The reason I left is because I came home from work one day and she had her ex in the house. I needed money. He couldn't provide for the family. I just started So my job I, I borrowed $200 just to pay the light bill and my phone bill. Well, if you can borrow money from an ex and have that ex in the house, how come he can't talk to an ex of his? Exactly. Because he might sleep with her. I won't. He knows I'm an honest person. If I sleep, if I sleep with somebody, <laughs> no, no, no. I would tell him. Mr. Payne, let me ask you this. Okay. Do you take it too far? Are you, are, are you kind of got your toe in the water a little bit with the ex? No, me and the ex, we're always going to be like cordial with each other at least. I want to be cordial for my child. With but, I, but I'm asking you, is it a little too much? No. When Divorce Court Before Your Vows continues, has Latrice taken her distrust of Julian too far? She has the GPS set up to where she has a location for my ex, she has a location for my grandparents' house. If I'm by anywhere, I could be 10 block radius of it. I get a text, oh, you over her house? And later, will Julian get down on one knee? I know you go over there about to bust the guts with that ring. So do you have something you want to say to her or not? You got problems with your mate? Call me toll free at 1-877-311-2222 or visit our website at divorcecourt.com and become a fan at facebook.com slash divorcecourt. Divorce Court Before Your Vows is back with the case of Julian Payne, who says he is having second thoughts about marrying his fiance because she secretly videotapes him during his private moments. But does Latrice distrust Julian in general? He's very flirtatious. Uh -huh. He's very cocky. I'm He's just... very confident. He said, well, I got swag. Mr. Payne, I'm going to start with you, and I'm going to ask you to do something for me. I mean, I can see where you guys have gotten off track. If you could convince me that she's the woman for you and just had to do it in 90 seconds, what would you say? Tell me why you love her, why you would marry her. I love this woman because, one, she has my two babies. Two, we've been through a lot in our little four years. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I haven't had a connection like that with anybody in a long time. Right. You know, she makes me feel real good on the inside, but my problem is at the same time, she breaks me down with the nagging and she GPSs me while I'm at work on my cell phone. Oh, which so I pay you get for. That, right? Your GPS and the brother? We both pay for the bill. Then she when paid I the bill working, two months. You got him on GPS? He, no, more than two months. Two months. More than two months. Okay. She has the GPS set up to where she has a location for my ex, she has a location for my grandparents' house. If I'm by anywhere, I could be 10 block radius of it. I get a text, oh, you over her house? Oh, you see her today? 
No, I'll are ask her trust issues centered around a person, or is it all women? Mostly all women. I got to take a child with me to the grocery store. He's very flirtatious. He's very cocky. I'm he's just, very confident. He said women should swag. fall to his feet. I'm not ugly and I got swag, so I he mean, I'm going to speak like to that. Feet. I'm not ugly, but you don't see me he, he, he in every dude face. I don't he, he yes, in every do. female face. I came to his job. I thought maybe I surprised him. He was up there hugging a girl saying she was beginning. going to, she was going off to school. She now, how long ago was hugs. this? That was about six months into relationship. So, Three so and that didn't count. I you, hugged the guy that after count. that. I just wanted to admit that. Three and you a half what? years. I, he didn't want me to get mad about him hugging that, that girl because she was going off to college. But when I hugged the guy, he got upset. The I, girl was just going to college. She gave everybody a hug that was outside. I'm why? a nice, that friendly was person. that forever ago. Mm -hmm. I hugged Joe yesterday no. when I saw him outside of the hotel. It's different from a hug and an embrace. And my point is, is that <laughs> how, can he, how can he get mad at me hugging someone and I can't get mad at him hugging someone? He's like a hypocrite. Are you jealous of her? No, not Do you not believe that all. she flirts he said with he's guys? The man. No, he can do I'm it. not jealous of her at all. I trust tell her. That's the truth, Mr. Payne. Tell oh, the truth. Seriously, I'm not jealous of her at all. I don't mind. I tell her, go out, have fun. I, you want money? Go out, have fun. There you go. You know he what? He puts a time limit on when I should get over things. My feelings are different than his. Absolutely, and everybody is entitled to their feelings. No, you cannot put a time limit. But I can tell you what you can do. You can feed the wrong dog. You got two dogs. One of them is trust, one of them is distrust. If you feed distrust all the time, if you keep looking for being hurt, if you keep going back to the times that you were hurt, you keep feeding that dog, it gets bigger and bigger, and mm -hmm. trust is dying over there of starvation. And, the, and, and you say, look at how big distrust is. That's because you're feeding it. You got to let go of what happened, known each other for six months. That's irrelevant. He doesn't let things go either. He, he bottles it up and then blurts it out when we get into an argument. Like the guy that was in the house when he came home giving me the money. He said, oh, that didn't bother me. I'm over that. But then just, what, three months ago, he said, I don't know if it's going to be a guy in the house when I come in. So you're not over that. When divorce court before your vows continues, is this relationship over? Or does Judge Lynn think Latrice and Julian can make a marriage work? We're not affectionate anymore. We don't tell each other we love each other anymore. We used to tell each other every day, give each other a Because she pushes me away with this nagging. He it's pushed like, me away with the, with the line. If you would like your case heard on Divorce Court, call us toll free at 1-877-311-2222 or log on to our website at divorcecourt.com and follow us on Twitter at Divorce Court. Divorce Court Before Your Vows returns with the case of Latrice Manns, who says she is not sure she should marry her fiancé because he is too flirtatious with other women. But will she say yes to marriage if Julian proposes? Hopefully I can actually put this on her finger the right way. I like you people. You're two good people suffering from a small dose of immaturity. I, you have a huge case of insecurity. I think you don't uh, respect how she feels as how she feels. If you've got a woman that's insecure, you can do things to make her feel more secure. And as she feels better, uh, you, can, you can be more comfortable in being who you are. Are you with me with that? But he, I do he shuts try. down. I do he try to down. make her feel better. When she's sad, I'm like, baby, what's wrong? Or you still look fine. We can get your hair done. You know what I'm saying? But I still try to build her up. But, but when that won't. doesn't work, then I show her tough love. Do, he but does he do that? Does he say things to you that make you feel better? Does He used to. It stopped. We're not affectionate anymore. We don't tell each other we love each other anymore. We used to tell each other every day, give each other a Because she pushes me uh, away with this nagging. It's he like, pushed me away with the, with the lying. And one of you has got to decide that you're a grown-up. I don't know which one of you it's going to be, but somebody's got to decide it was a grown-up. Because each of you has enough to, in, the, in their pity pot to say, well, I shouldn't have to do anything because she's already done this to me. Mm -hmm. And if that's all you're going to do, why stay together? Why even come over here and ask me anything? If you're going to keep reaching back to what you've already done and said, I have a reason to distrust, I have a reason to be angry. You've got to decide whether you're going to take what you have and make something better because you got two kids and you, re you got jobs and everything. You're going to school. I never get that in here. <laughs> you know? I, 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 come on now. You know? You can't change what happened. 
You can only decide what you're going to do from today forward. Work with him. You know? That you could you that things you could do. Yeah, I know. I, you by could no be means better. am I perfect. I know that. Be honest where you're going, tell her she can come. That's fine. That's I have cool. no problem with that. Now would that make you happy? That will make me happy. That's now, communicating. When that yeah, now, when that man does that, you don't get to bring up the past. No. You don't get to say anything about well, the last time and yeah. you gotta think. give a put the video cam up. Yep. If this man is staying home and he wants to take care of whatever kind of business he needs to take care, let him. Okay. It's not hurting you. Okay. What difference does it make? It's not taking it out of the house. Okay. Let that go. It doesn't mean anything. When divorce court before your vows continues, will Julian finally give Latrice a ring after four years of dating? Now, I know you go over there about to bust the gus with that ring. So do you have something you want to say to her or not? Divorce Court Before Your Vows returns with the case of Latrice Manns and Julian Payne, who have come before Judge Lynn to ask her if they have what it takes to get married after four years and two children together. I like you people. You need marriage counseling. Six months, even if you don't want to get married, you should have marriage counseling because you have two kids together and you guys have to learn how to have a conversation. I think you need to go into counseling all by yourself just to get your self-esteem picture together because it's not quite right. It's a little crooked. Mm -hmm. You know, you, 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 you... It was. I'm working on it. You, 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 and you know what? Most people don't even know they have a problem. And if you have a problem, there's nothing wrong with it. It doesn't make you less of a person. It just makes you a person because we all have problems. I could regale you with, you know, we could stay here two years talking about my problems. <laughs> now, I know you go over there about to bust the gust with that ring. So do you have something you want to say to her or not? Now, oh, that's a terrible thing to do to a man. I'm sorry. Do you, you know what I mean? I put him on the spot. Do, do I mean, you want honestly, the ring? I, I, I wanted to do it, but until we can get this counseling, after the counseling, then I can do it. But right now, I just don't feel like you strong feel enough that. that it's gonna be there. He knows that I, I want to like get over things. He knows that I can't. I have a hard time. He can help me to get over things. Yeah, but you he, need, he, but he, you he need he outside help. It. You need outside help to get over some stuff. He can't do it by himself because you, because you, you're deep in the, you're he that deep in the rabbit hole. His relationship is has made him cold. That nothing makes you anything. Do you know what? But that's it, what he's it, it, it tends and it pushes. That's why y'all need to go to counseling. Marriage counseling, you learn how to talk to one another, you know how to get past things, you know how to become warm again, you know how to be loving, you know how to approach an issue, you know, actually know how to have a conversation. It can all be taught if you have the basics, which you do, which is love and care and kitties, which, by the way, quit having these people first. You know what yeah. I mean? Get it yeah. right first, then have these people. I you know, because it's, mm -hmm. it, it's hard. I understand. I'm just going to take the marriage license and walk off with it. I'm not going to tear it up because I don't want to leave you with that image because I think you're, you're a couple that can make it. You, you got all the basics together. You just got to figure out how to work it. You're going to go to get some kind of marriage counseling or something? I'll, get, I'll have somebody talk to you, get you started. You promise okay. to do that? I promise. I want a good, solid, loving black couple out of you. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Shore up the community. Rah, rah, let's go. Okay? Got it. This matter is adjourned. All rise. Parties may leave the courtroom. Latrice and Julian say that when they returned from divorce court, they attempted to make their relationship work and remained hopeful that they would marry one day. However, Julian says he soon realized that Latrice never would change, and he has moved out. He hopes to maintain an amicable relationship for the sake of their kids.